This is the halogen headlights of my F-150 pickup truck. This is them on high beam. And this is the 100,000 lumen Emilent MS-18. An absolute powerhouse of handheld flashlight. That sound you hear are the two fans blowing air rapidly across the copper heat sink. Welcome back. It's a great day to be Flashaholic. Like the name implies, we get 18 Cree XHP 70.2s in this model and that is up from the previous version, or their previous top light anyway, which was the MS-12 that had 12 of the Generation 1 XHP-70s in it. Also with this, we got the Emilent R90TS, which is the upgraded from their R90C. With this version, we get 18 XHP-35 high-intensity LEDs, which gave us that super nice range. 100,000 lumen on the MS-18 and 36,000 lumen on the R90TS. I was thinking, we have come a long way in a short time. If you had tried to build this light back in 2007, your options would have been um, it Cree XRE, was the big deal LED back then, and Q5 was the hot button top bin. So you're looking at about about 250 lumens per LED. So it would have taken 400 of those to match what this is doing now. You'd have had to have I, the head would have had to be this big. 400 of those LEDs it would have taken to get this done. In addition to that, we also got this stellar copper heat sink, and Emilent's claiming that not only is it the finned copper sink, they're saying that there's some kind of a liquid inside of there even. Um, I'm not gonna pretend to be smart enough to explain all of that or pretend like I understand it. To me, it looks like they just took a semi-high-end CPU heat sink and put in there. That I like this way better than their old design. This new one has one fan that sucks air in, blows it across the fins, and then another that sucks it out, just like it should be. Uh, the, the older version just had kind of a sort of a wavy fin sink that spun around in a circle in there and didn't really seem to move much air at all. It was already lit. We might as well smoke some hot wings for dinner. They did drop the set of auxiliary white LEDs that were around the outside before. Instead of that, what we got this time is an OLED display that lets you know what mode you're in, and we also got a small light over the switch. In the new versions, the battery packs are a different size. They're not uh, interchangeable with the old ones. And also they changed how you plug in the charging port. In this one, it plugs in at the tail end, which I happen to like better. We also got a very stupid hat. If you're bald enough, it stays suction cup to your head. Oh. In the kit that I got, um, thank you, Neil's Gadgets, by the way, for sending me these lights for review. I got a one, basically one complete light and the R90 head. It came in a kit, so I got the one battery pack and two heads. They came in like this, I don't know, record player suitcase kind of a thing. It's, it's cardboard, but it's sturdy cardboard, and it does hold the lights pretty well. 
Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the same thing I didn't like about the last boxes. Uh, on the original boxes, we had magnets holding them shut and the lights would fall out. And on this one, we have a five cent clasp on the front, which also causes the lights to fall out. If you just barely touch that clasp, you know, with the cardboard tweaked or anything like that, it just falls open. Um, so, you know, if Emily would have asked me, I would have... I would advise, have advised them to do it differently than that. I, um, you know, and it's not like they don't have my phone number. They have it. Is it waterproof? Um, not exactly. I looked it up on Emily's website and they're claiming IP56 standard. Typically what we hear around flashlight forums is IPX8 or IPX6 uh, you know, when it comes to waterproofing, and what that means is IP stands for uh, ingress protection. What those numbers mean following the IP are two things. They mean uh, dirt and debris protection, and they also mean water protection. The first one where we typically see IPX, that X means that, uh, you know, either the test wasn't performed or it's irrelevant. Uh, mostly we see X there with flashlights. Um, with this one, we got a five, and with the waterproofing, we got a six. I had to look this up, and I'll just tell you what that means. What that five means is ingress of dust is not entirely prevented, but must not enter in sufficient quantity to interfere with the satisfactory operation of the equipment. The six is our water protection, and it means water protection in powerful jets against the enclosure from any direction shall have no harmful effects. So that means that we're rainproof, and theoretically it means we're sprayed with a hose proof, but I'm, I'm not rich enough to just try that with mine, so I'm going to take their word for it. I did test this light for lumen output, as I usually do with lights that have tremendous claims. At the 30-second mark, the 100,000 lumen emulent MS-18 gave me 72,619 lumens. Uh, you'd be disappointed if you want to, but... You know, I'm not. A little, I do, yeah, I wish that it would have made 100,000 too, just like everybody else. It, it At turn on, it did. At one second, that flash right at the beginning, I got 102,000 lumens, but it, you know, it drops real fast from there. You can see on my R90C, I got 15,000. On the R90TS, I got 28,000. And on the MS-12, I got 38,000 which is just right in line with what I had tested them at before, uh, which also brings us to MS-18 versus Ace Beam X-70. X-70 tested at just under 50,000, 49,000 and change when I had it. And so this MS-18 is still... 22,928 lumens brighter than the Ace Beam X70. Talking about sustainability. Uh, now, I only had time to run this test on the MS18, uh, but it, it's the hotter one of the two. So I tried to see what it was like, is how much that fan's really doing. Because I'm telling you, when you kick that thing on, Immediately the fan comes on and within seconds you touch that bezel and it's hot already. Uh, so I ran it to see how long it would go before the uh, temperature sensor started dropping our output. And at about 45 seconds is when it starts to dial back. Uh, when we dial back we go down to 15,000 lumens. It tested at 13,900 or so by the way. Um, and we're completely sustainable from there. I left it sitting, running for 10 minutes, and the temperature on the bezel never rose above 150 degrees, and it did get warm. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was the, it was the 150 degrees almost right away, but it stayed that way for as long as I had it on, 
and the handle did get hot. You know, I'm not going to say that it was fun, but it was tolerable. Okay, why don't we go do some comparison beam shots. Batting first for the throwers tonight is the BLF GT. Now we will do the Emulent R90 TS. Try them side by side. GT. Emulent. Look way back there at those other towers. You see that there's that tower. It's easy to see there. Back there, there's the two twins. GT still puts a brighter spot on them, but I think if I was looking for those towers, the wider spread of the emulent might be more useful. Well, maybe. There we go. This is just incredible. Since we're here, let's look at the older version of the R90. Just killing it. Now the 36,000 lumen TS. Seems like maybe we get a little bit wider beam out at the edges. Seems like we're a little more crisp on the edges with the older version. But I can see some difference in brightness. Now for the big guns, the hate to say flutters because they still throw, but uh, I brought my Emulent MS-12, my original. There's the turbo on that. Now Emulent MS-18. And it's just... Look how it's like even way over here at that edge. It fills the whole, the whole screen. I mean, that's how it looks in real life, too. It just, like the sunrise or something, it just blankets the entire earth from edge to edge. Oh, that's just madness. I'm so jaded, and this unjaded me. I'm still impressed. I mean, look, you can still, I say these are the flutters, but look at the towers again. I'm still seeing those towers. Now, don't forget, if you are interested in these lights, there will be a link in the YouTube description for purchase. There will also be a coupon code to save you some money. Be sure to let us know what you think about the Emelin MS-18 and the R90TS. Guys, thank you so much for watching, 
and good lucks.